Yeah, greetings from Soto, where against all odds, your Seattle Mariners have gotten everybody excited about concrete. Blacktop, technically. A new rideshare parking lot as the team goes on the defense against that legendary traffic and parking. In fact, I remember celebrating my birthday in Mariners traffic one year. But things are a-changing, and it's time for a ribbon cutting. <laughs> This is a bustling stretch of Sodo, and in a world of parking options or a lack thereof, this is a strategically located option. In fact, Fred, I saw you walking from work. Well, we introduced a new rideshare app for Uber, Lyft, taxis that are bringing our fans to the game, taking uh, our fans home as well. It creates a centralized point where our fans can come and pick up their, uh, their rideshare. Um, just as you said earlier in the shadows at T-Mobile Park, just a very short walk from there. It's going to create a very organized, safe, and efficient way for our fans get, to get to and from the game. Well, we're part of the Washington State Baseball Public Facilities District, and it's our responsibility to look after the public's investment in uh, T-Mobile. And so this is what we're doing, is to try to invest in areas that really support the fans. And so we were really proud to partner with the Mariners uh, in the construction of this facility. So. An exciting time. The Mariners are investing in Soto. This rideshare lot is a part of that. And, you know, the Mariners over the last couple of years have been really focusing on revitalizing the Soto neighborhood um, around T Mobile Park, and this is really part of that effort. We uh, opened last year and again this year new businesses to the west, the boxyard development. Uh, now we're paying ten attention to the east side, which really is a transportation corridor. The world's eyes will be on us in a little less than two weeks uh, with the All-Star Week. So we do hope to use this lot for those activities. It'll open July 8th. Timing couldn't be better.